uh, in internship i uh, basically i had those pdfs in my phone i used to revise it in like when i have like 15 20 minutes off i would revise a topic somehow yeah. then uh, i attended the offline btr uh, before the november i know like the last year i was not not eligible for that but i wanted to attend still because i feel that would like just uh, like get it everything together and after that i think 3 days later was a very major gt or something cbt and i was like i'll realize you know that how much do i remember it how much do i uh, not and uh, that was also a very wild experience because i wanted to see you know how do i compare with other toppers and i got a rank 21 in that <laughs> the same rank <laughs> so that checks yeah. out i think that's the best yeah. gto ever <laughs> yeah because like i only had one day gap between the end of btr and the cbt hmm. so i just said ki okay one day i'll see how much i can survive yeah. then i'll just give the exam and let's see what happens so yeah. that was the idea so i think similar happened this time i mean you would revise everything you know in the final one week so it basically offline is like a revision of the entire content in in you know three yes, weeks so a very similar scenario uh, both of the times i i feel basically you maxed out your plateau was itself very high and and you know it's not a bad place to be stuck at and and since like third year that's that's just crazy so i was uh, like pre exam i was expecting top 10 from myself I was very like in that zone that I can, yeah. I will. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Post exam, then the thing dropped. Uh, I saw the recalls. We were obviously terrible. Nobody got the questions like right. I mean, like the recalls had to. It was so varied. Uh, hmm. A lot of controversies. Even like I expected my score to be somewhere between one fifty five to one sixty five, which is a huge range. After that, I was expecting somewhere between fifty to hundred. I was still confident, and I had half made up my mind to take a drop. that i will just give november again because i can crack in november for sure but luckily yeah. i opened the result today mm-hmm. i was like really gra- uh, glad awesome i think great so so what you know i can uh, sense from your journey and maybe sub- try and summarize it is you always had a love for learning and then that's how you always studied and and uh, btr kind of came in and gave you that approach towards neat pg and inherently you were good at solving mcq so that that's always a big strength you know when it comes to students who who have that knack and it's something which is an x factor which cannot I I don't know if it can be learned over time but it's something that that probably gives you a very big edge you know you definitely can acquire it by solving a lot of questions and get there eventually but some people probably just uh, born with it so <laughs> you were uh, one of those oh, wow. 